Hi, Daniel from the Ultimate Guitar Academy here, and I'm going to show you eight essential guitar licks. These licks are extremely common and fundamental licks for guitarists, especially important for those looking to improvise. I'm constantly amazed at how many guitarists are trying to teach themselves to improvise, yet have no idea that these licks are out there. So let's get into it. I'm going to keep all licks in the key of E minor pentatonic, starting with what I call lick one. <laughs> Let's get rid of all the fanciness in that lick and keep it really basic. All I'm doing there is starting it on the G at 14, play it, bend it up to 16, release back to 14, then pull off to 12, 14 on the D, and then 12 on the G. I'll play it again for you. Chuck some vibrato on the end because it always sounds better with vibrato. Lick two, really basic, on the B, starting at fret 15, bend it up to 17, and then 12 on the high E. That's all the lick is. This one sounds good if you repeat it over and over again. And you've probably heard that before in countless songs. Lick three, so crucial for every single lead guitarist. It doesn't matter what style of music you play. If, you're, if you consider yourself a lead guitarist, you have to know this lick. Starting on the G on 14, bend it up to 16, then 12 on the B, 12 on the high E. Here's what we get. Now you notice that I'm not hopping between the 12s like this. That doesn't work for, for this kind of lick. What we really need to do is roll that index finger, like so. Once you can get that rolling motion, it really helps get this lick much faster. You would have heard that lick before, I can almost guarantee it. Lick four, again, such a crucial lick. Starting at 12 on the high E, then 15 on the B, which we pull off to 12, also on the B, of course. And then 14 on the G. Now I can bend that up. I don't have to bend that up. I can just play and leave it as is. But bending it up does sound really good. And that's usually how I'll teach this lick. You may have noticed that this lick simply moves down the E minor pentatonic scale. You would have heard Joe Satriani. Uh, Kirk Hammett from Metallica, Jimi Hendrix, Stevie Ray Vaughan, basically every single rock guitarist in the world knows and uses this lick a lot. Another really important element for this lick is starting with the index finger for the 12, pinky for the 15, index again for the 12, and ring for the 14, like so. That's how I'd recommend to play it. You can use your ring finger for the 15 if you must, and then your middle for the 14. However, I'd highly recommend pinky for that 15. With your picking as well, you'll notice I'm using pretty much economy picking here. I'm picking up, up, down. Up, up, down. Up, up, down. Up, up, down. I believe that to be the best way to pick this lick. Um, it, it's what makes it fast, okay? If you want to get this lick fast, which let's face it, you're a guitarist, so you do, then that's the way to go for this lick. Picking this all down, downstrokes just won't work for speed. Lick five is really, really simple. It's a unison bend. A unison bend is when we have two notes and we bend the lower one up to the higher one. Here's an example, in fact, here's the lick. Starting at 12 on the high E, that's one of the notes. The other note is 15 on the B. Now, if you know your notes, and hopefully you do, if not though, the 12 on the high E is an E, 15 on the B is a D. I'm gonna bend that D 15 up to the exact same pitch of the high E. Now it's going to create a droning sound until you get them exactly the same. Here's, here's what we'll get. You would have heard um, Metallica, Kirk Hammer, you would have heard him play that. You would have heard Joe Satriani, again Steve Vai, John Patricia, every single lead guitarist in the world knows this league. Now we're going to smash through licks 6, 7 and 8 because they're really similar. However, I want, to, I want to really emphasize this. Keep these licks, even though they're similar, keep them 
completely separate. Keep them completely different in your mind, okay? Guitarists are always getting these licks mixed up and they're, they're meaning to play one of them and they end up playing another one. They're meaning to hammer on and instead they hammer on and pull off. Don't become one of those guitarists. Become the guitarist that plays exactly what they mean to, which is exactly what they should be playing. So lick six starts on the high E on 15, pull off to 12, like so, and then 15 on the B. That's all it is. It's a really simple lick and a really great start into some fast shredding, if, if you want to call that, some fast guitar playing, um, especially if you're into rock music. So I'm using my ring finger for that 15. You can use your pinky if you like. I prefer my ring finger because this is a shape where we kind of just sit there for a while. So we don't really have to have great mobility to get to other things, at least not yet. So starting on 15, I'm gonna use my ring, pull off to the index finger on 12, and then a different finger. I'm gonna say that again, because it's super important. A different finger, not the ring. Use the middle finger for the B string 15. Do not do this. You probably can get really fast at that, but it's just not worth the effort. You're better off spending that time and effort developing better guitar playing. So use that ring, index, and then middle. For your picking, <clears throat> just do whatever's comfortable, but you should have a down and an up motion in there somewhere. I actually find it easier to go down on the high E and up on the B string, rather than up on the E and down on the B. But that's me. Lick seven is extremely similar. Here, I'm gonna start on the 12 on the high E, hammer on to the 15, and then pull off back to the 12, like so. Then I'm gonna put the 15 on the B. Here's what we get. I'll play it just once for you. And then when we loop it, notice it's very similar to lick six, which was this. Okay, lick six. Lick seven, subtle difference. Then we get lick eight. Lick eight, again, another subtle difference. Starting on the 12, then the 15, we're not gonna hammer this time, we're gonna play the 15 and pull off the 12. And then 15 on the B. I'll play that again. One more. A bit faster. So when we play licks six, seven, and eight, lick six was just a pull-off. Lick seven is a hammer-on and a pull-off. Lick eight is 12, then the pull-off afterwards. Okay, to quickly recap, we had lick one. Lick two. Lick three. Lick four. Lick five. Lick six, seven, and eight. There are eight very basic and very common but absolutely essential guitar licks for your improvising and playing. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to share this video amongst your Facebook and friends if you found it useful. If you have any questions at all or comments, please go to ultimateguitaracademy.com.au where you can reach us through the contact page. Remember that these licks should be memorized and used in your own guitar playing. Make sure you get some practice in, and until next time, keep shredding.